Population decline is a common trend in both U.S. states and countries around the world. Out of all 50 states, only 18 are seeing a drop in population in the year 2024. Notably, Alaska, Ohio, and New Jersey have each seen a decrease of about 0.1%. In this video, we will focus on 10 other states that you might not expect to be losing residents. Let's get started. Number 10. Rhode Island. In the year 2024, Rhode Island saw a population decline of approximately 0.3%. This decline was exacerbated by an overcount in the year 2020 census, which had overestimated Rhode Island's population by about 5%. Rhode Islanders are known for their resilience and distinctive accent, but even they have their limits. The state has gained notoriety for its deplorable road conditions, featuring potholes that can practically swallow your car. While Rhode Island does boast some beautiful beaches, most of the year they remain too cold to enjoy. The harsh winter weather, marked by powerful nor'easters that can transform a quick grocery store run into an Arctic expedition, is a major deterrent. It's no surprise that many Rhode Islanders eventually pack their bags, seeking refuge in places where the roads are smoother, the coffee isn't limited to Duncan, and the sun shines a bit brighter and longer. The state is experiencing a natural population decline as the number of deaths now exceeds the number of births. Additionally, many residents are moving to other states with better economic opportunities, particularly in the South and West, where economic growth is faster and job prospects are more abundant. This internal migration is a significant contributor to Rhode Island's shrinking population. Rhode Island's slower economic growth and limited job opportunities lead to weaker economic conditions. This not only causes residents to leave in search of better opportunities elsewhere, but also deters new residents from moving to the state. With such challenges pushing people away from Rhode Island, Pennsylvania faces a similar predicament, but with its own unique set of obstacles. Stay tuned. Number 9. Pennsylvania. The primary reason people are leaving Pennsylvania is job-related. In the year 2024, Pennsylvania experienced a population decline of nearly 0.3%. This decline is more pronounced in rural areas than in urban centers. For example, Fayette County saw a decrease of almost 5%, while Cambria County experienced a decline of about 2.5%. Pennsylvania, with its charming cheesesteaks and unique quirks, has some challenges that push residents to seek new horizons. From the seemingly endless winters that stretch from October to May to the aggressive driving culture where the Pittsburgh left turn is a survival tactic, some residents feel it's time for a change. This population decline stems from several factors, including natural decreases where deaths outnumber births and a lack of new residents moving to these areas. According to the Center for Rural Pennsylvania, Rural counties in the state are projected to experience a decline of nearly 6% over the next 25 years, with some counties expected to lose more than 10% of their population by the year 2050. The implications of this population decline are extensive. It affects workforce availability, property tax revenues, and the ability to care for aging residents. While Pennsylvania's rural areas are particularly hard hit, this trend is not unique to the state's similar declines are observed in other states like New York, West Virginia, and California. After hearing about the challenges Pennsylvania faces with population decline, especially in rural areas, what's one unique thing about Pennsylvania that you think might make people want to stay despite the challenges? Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 8. West Virginia. West Virginia is renowned for its breathtaking landscapes and welcoming communities. However, it has been experiencing a steady population decline. In the year 2024, the state's population decreased by approximately 0.58%. One of the primary reasons for this exodus is the lack of job opportunities. Historically, West Virginia's economy heavily relied on the coal industry. Unfortunately, the industry has significantly declined leading to widespread unemployment. This downturn has had a ripple effect, causing many businesses that supported coal mining to shut down as well. Adding to the woes, 
West Virginia has been facing a natural decrease in population, meaning there are more deaths than births. From the year 2020 to the year 2023, the state recorded 89,419 deaths, compared to 55,715 births. This significant disparity has further contributed to the population decline. Despite these challenges, there are some positive signs. For the past two years, West Virginia has experienced positive net migration, meaning more people are moving into the state than leaving. This trend is largely due to the state's lower cost of living and its appeal as a destination for remote work, a trend that surged during the COVID-19 pandemic. Additionally, West Virginia's outdoor amenities and new economic investments are attracting more residents. Interestingly, not all regions in West Virginia are experiencing a decline. The Eastern Panhandle, particularly Berkeley County, has seen notable population growth. From July of the year 2022 to July of the year 2023, Berkeley County's population grew by 2.37%. Other counties in the region, such as Jefferson, Morgan, Hampshire, and Hardy, also saw population increases during this period. This regional growth stands in stark contrast to the broader state trend, where 47 out of 55 counties experienced population declines. As West Virginia grapples with these mixed trends, another state facing its own unique set of challenges is Hawaii. Stay tuned. Number 7. Hawaii. Hawaii known for its sunshine, surf, and stunning landscapes, is now equally renowned for its skyrocketing rents. The allure of paradise comes with a steep price tag. Residents are trading their lace for moving trucks, bidding aloha to the islands as they seek more affordable living in mainland zip codes. In the year 2024, Hawaii saw a population decline of nearly one half of 1%. From July 1st, the year 2022, to July 1st, the year 2023, the state's population decreased by an average of 12 people per day. Although there was a natural increase of six people per day, thanks to 42 births against 35 deaths, this was offset by a net daily migration loss of 18 people. This included a net outflow of 31 people to other states, which was slightly counterbalanced by 13 more people moving into Hawaii from foreign countries than leaving. The economic factors driving this trend are significant. Hawaii's high cost of living, including exorbitant housing prices and the steep overall cost of goods and services, makes it challenging for many residents to remain. Furthermore, the state is experiencing a brain drain with young, educated residents seeking better job opportunities elsewhere. This exodus is leading to an aging population, posing long-term economic challenges for the state. Population decline in Hawaii is not uniform across the islands. Oahu, for instance, experienced a substantial drop, losing approximately 12,337 residents from July 2020 to July 2021. In contrast, islands like Kauai have seen slight population growth highlighting regional disparities. Before we continue, I have a 10-second request for all of you. If you can help us out, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to us. In return, we promise to keep making this show even better for you. Deal? Number 6. Oregon. Oregonians are increasingly relocating to sunnier destinations, seeking relief from the state's infamous gray skies and persistent drizzle. Seasonal affective disorder, caused by prolonged lack of sunlight and resulting in vitamin D deficiency, leads to increased rates of depression among residents. Since the mid-1980s, Oregon was one of the most moved to states in the country. In fact, every census since the year 1985, except for one, showed double-digit growth. However, the upcoming the year 2030 census predicts a loss of about 4% in population if current trends continue. This is a drastic shift from the state's history of steady growth. In the year 2024, Oregon's population decreased by 0.38%. The U.S. Census Bureau reported a loss of over 6,000 residents from July the year 2022 to July the year 2023, representing a 0.1% decline. Since the year 2021, the state has lost around 23,000 people, about 0.5% of its population. 
high living costs, and housing affordability issues are key drivers behind this decline. The average monthly living cost in Oregon is around $4,000, with median home prices soaring above $500,000. These economic pressures have made it increasingly difficult for residents to afford living in the state. Consequently, more people are moving out than moving in, a stark contrast to the state's previous reliance on immigration to boost its population and economy. Economists are alarmed by the potential fallout. A shrinking population can lead to reduced economic activity, lower tax revenues, and significant challenges in maintaining public services and infrastructure. Oregon's economy has traditionally depended on a growing labor force to support local businesses and state revenues. Therefore, continued population decline could have severe economic repercussions. Number 5. Mississippi Mississippi struggles with high poverty rates and limited job opportunities, prompting many residents to leave in search of better economic prospects. It's not just the sweltering humidity, and pesky mosquitoes driving people away, it's the lack of jobs that truly impacts this state. In the year 2024, Mississippi experienced a population decline of 0.32%. The primary reason cited by those leaving Mississippi is the search for better employment opportunities. Neighboring states like Tennessee, Georgia, and the Carolinas are seeing significant population growth as they offer more robust job markets and improved amenities. Mississippi's strict regulations, compared to its neighbors, can hinder economic growth, making the state less attractive for businesses and individuals alike. Additionally, the presence of state income tax in Mississippi, unlike in states such as Florida and Texas, further diminishes its competitive edge. The population loss is especially evident in rural areas, while urban regions such as Jackson and the Gulf Coast have experienced slight increases. This urban-rural divide mirrors broader national trends, with people moving towards areas offering better health care, education, and employment opportunities. Mississippi's shrinking population poses significant risks. The state may lose a congressional seat in the U.S. House of Representatives if the population decline continues, reducing its influence in federal matters. A declining population also means a smaller labor force which can hurt local economies and make it harder for businesses to find skilled workers, creating a vicious cycle of economic stagnation and further population loss. Number 4. California Californians are starting to realize that living in perpetual sunshine isn't as glamorous as it seems. While the beaches are stunning, finding parking is nearly impossible. California boasts many positives as great weather, beautiful beaches, an abundance of plastic surgeons, and fresh produce like avocados. However, these perks come with hefty costs, especially in housing. In the year 2024, California experienced a population decrease of nearly one-third of a percent, continuing a trend from the early the year 2020s. The COVID-19 pandemic significantly contributed to this decline, causing increased mortality rates, reduced international immigration, and heightened interstate migration due to high living costs. Many residents moved to more affordable states like Texas, Nevada, and Arizona. The primary driver behind this exodus is the state's exorbitant housing costs. While various policies have influenced real estate prices, the overarching issue remains affordability. For instance, the median home price in California is around $800,000, substantially higher than the national average of approximately $400,000. Renting is also expensive, with the average monthly rent in cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles exceeding $3,000. Moreover, California's birth rates have been declining. The state's total fertility rate, once above the national average, has dropped to one of the lowest by the year 2020. Despite these challenges, recent data shows a reversal. In the year 2023, California's population increased by about 67,000 people, driven by a rebound in legal foreign immigration and stabilized mortality rates. This growth was prominent in regions like the Bay Area, Central Valley, and the Inland Empire, where significant housing developments occurred. However, California's aging population presents another challenge. 
With a growing proportion of residents aged 65 and older, there are rising concerns about the future labor force and the demand for services such as health care and housing. As Californians grapple with sky-high housing costs and the allure of cheaper living elsewhere, the situation in Illinois presents a stark contrast with residents fleeing high taxes and frigid winters. Stay tuned. Number 3. Illinois. Illinois is a state that's seen a significant population decline in recent years. The drop isn't just from Chicago but from cities across the state. Many locals seem to be chasing the sun, tired of harsh winters, and relocating to warmer climates. Illinois has a long history of people moving to Utah, a trend that's persisted for decades. Interestingly, if you exclude neighboring states, the top two states contributing to Utah's population growth are California and Illinois. In the year 2024, Illinois experienced a population decrease of approximately 0.82 percent. From July of the year 2022 to July of the year 2023, the state saw an estimated net loss of 32,826 residents, primarily due to domestic outmigration. High taxes, crime rates, and the overall cost of living are key factors driving this exodus. The population decline has impacted every metropolitan area and 87 out of 102 counties in Illinois. Despite a natural increase in population, with 10,453 more births than deaths, and a net gain of 40,492 international migrants. These gains were outweighed by a net loss of 83,839 residents to other states. Polls consistently show a significant portion of Illinois residents consider leaving the state, primarily due to high taxes. For instance, a survey conducted by NPR Illinois and the University of Illinois in the year 2019 found that 61% of residents contemplated moving out with taxes being the primary reason. Number 2. New York New York State is seeing a considerable outflow of its residents, with the majority leaving New York City for more affordable and livable destinations. The city that never sleeps has become too expensive for many, making it nearly impossible for residents to find affordable housing. As a result, many are relocating to upstate New York, New Jersey, or even farther afield to places like Florida, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. In the year 2024, New York lost nearly 1% of its population. This population decline can be primarily attributed to economic factors. New York's high tax burden is driving residents to states with lower taxes. Even though New York has recovered the jobs lost during the COVID-19 pandemic, its economy is growing at a slower rate compared to the national average 0.7% versus 2.5% in the year 2023. The high cost of living, especially in New York City, is another significant factor. The city's exorbitant housing prices and essential living costs are forcing many to seek more affordable regions. For instance, the average rent for a one-bedroom apartment in New York City is around $3,000 per month, compared to about $1,500 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The COVID-19 pandemic accelerated this migration trend as people sought less densely populated areas with better regulations. This trend has continued beyond the pandemic, indicating a lasting change in residential preferences. The decline in New York's population has significant implications for the state's budget and economic policies. Lawmakers are now urged to align spending with revenue more strategically and consider the long-term impacts of high taxes and the cost of living on population retention. Number 1. Michigan In the year 2024, Michigan's population is facing a significant decline due to a combination of demographic and migration trends. The state's population, currently around 10.1 million, is projected to decrease substantially in the coming decades. By the year 2050, Michigan's population could fall by approximately 128,000 people, a 1.3% decline from the year 2022, potentially reaching a level not seen since the year 1990. In a more severe scenario, the population might plummet by nearly 700,000 residents, representing a 7% decrease. Several factors contribute to this decline. Michigan has shifted from a younger, higher fertility population to an older, 
low fertility one. This demographic shift means that deaths are expected to outnumber births significantly, with projections indicating an annual natural decrease of around 25,000 by the next decade. This trend is exacerbated by the aging baby boomer generation moving into high mortality years. Migration patterns also play a crucial role. Historically, Michigan has experienced net negative migration, losing residents to other states, particularly those in the Sun Belt, Mountain West, and West Coast regions. Although there have been efforts to attract new residents through net positive migration, the natural decrease is likely to outweigh these gains in the near future. In response to these challenges, Governor Gretchen Whitmer has initiated strategies to reverse the trend including the creation of the Growing Michigan Together Council and the appointment of a chief growth officer. These initiatives aim to attract good-paying jobs, lower housing costs, and enhance the overall quality of life to make Michigan more attractive to new residents. If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to the Discover Globe channel. Your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen you're sure to love the content we bring. Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching and see you in the latest video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.